I'm Jiayi and I'm the MC for today's session. Welcome to the Tea Talks with the Toe. Yesterday we had learned a lot from Dr. Chen online again. Thank you Dr. Chen for her hard work to pass the gift of health and wisdom to us. One good thing about Circuit Breaker is we get to learn together from Dr. Chen as a family. Now, let, now let's let Mr. Toe and Ms. Jiaxuan to tell you more about it. And today's topic is fiber. Hello. Hi everyone. Good afternoon. So, Jesse, you learned about this today, right? Yeah. Can you tell me what you learned? Maybe three things? Or a few things that you learned yesterday? Um we learned that like um one of the things is fiber, isn't it? Yeah. And we also learned about probiotics. Yeah. Hmm, very good. Very good. <laughs> So today we are having our tea break talk. So, yes. What are you having for tea break? Just say what are you having for tea break? What's this? I'm having my cha moment. So, why is fiber important to us? My lipstick. Hmm? <laughs> my lipstick. Do you remember why fiber is important to us? Um, and it prevents cancer. And also, it prevents cancer and also... It prevents constipation? It improves our health of our digestive system. Yes. So the health of our digestive system is very important. And she there are a lot of misconceptions in the market where people say that now we guys should take more yogurt, take more maybe probiotics, Probiotics good for us. No, it's not. Wait, I think it's good. No, it's not. It's not. It's not good for us. Why? Neither is antibiotics. So in actual fact, as what Doctor Chen has shared with us, you no, know, our gut, you no, know, our gut, our no, digestive system gut. contains more than one thousand to about five thousand types of bacteria. <laughs> Some are good though. Yeah. Some are important. I that is a lot of bacteria. I thought that. it was actually bad bacteria. No, Some bad. bacteria are good. Yes. Know, Most I of them are good. Bad. They actually help us to digest our food. Food into food. Do you know how heavy are those bacteria in our body? Um, eight kg. <laughs> no, not so much. Actually, two kg is no. I thought it was eight. Those bacteria. Actually, weighs two kgs in our body. So when you so, so when you actually weighing yourself on the weighing machine, can you imagine two kgs? Actually, they are not your weight. They are the weight of the bacteria. Why are you talking? It's almost like tea break. So why probiotics are not good for us? Because probiotics they are actually only a few types of bacteria. Okay, they are actually about maybe. It's not very, it's, mm. it's not good, yes. but it's just, yeah. So they actually made out of a few types of bacteria that is good bacteria. But in actual fact, we need more than that, 1,000 to 5,000 types of bacteria in our gut to help us to have a good digestive system. So what else is it not good for probiotics? Huh? Probiotics mainly came from, come from milk. Yeah, milk. milk products, dairy it's products. It's not milk. It's not milk. Okay, dairy products. So <laughs> dairy products contains a lot of <laughs> cholesterol, <laughs> fats, <laughs> and research has shown that okay, all these probiotic they might they will cause our brain to fall. <laughs> Why is it so short? <laughs> yes. So do you want your brain to fall? No. If I, my my brain is going to fall. So the best way to have a healthy digestive system is what? Having lots of fruit and vegetables! Yes, that's fiber! I love fruits and vegetables. So last time, he used to love meat. Yeah, he used to love meat last time, it's true. I'm a meat lover last time. So you know how often I go to the toilet? 20 times. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, and I just remembered, 
If you guys are having PSLE or any exam, don't eat probiotics, it's bad for you. Yeah, because it makes your brain fog. Imagine halfway, I cannot remember. <laughs> that would be super terrible for your PSLE, so mm. whoever's you watching, uh huh. You fail, you got no job, no thing, nothing, just go down and sweep the floor of your neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> so where can you get fiber from? Hey, oh yeah, we just say fruits and vegetables. How much fiber do we need? You know? Um, and 28. Yeah, it's about 25 to 25 grams per grams. day. Yes, that's about that. About 30. 30? Yes. You know how much fiber is that? I love fiber. You know how much fiber is that? I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm a crazy apple. Take for example about an apple, a medium sized apple. Do you know how much fiber is that? Um, um, With two. Seed. Two, 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 one, yes, two. Yes, about two, two point five. So guess how much fiber do we need a day? How many apples? And one thousand. <laughs> Not so much, huh? Ten. Ten. Yes. So can you imagine you actually need fiber, amount of fiber which is equivalent to ten apples a day? <laughs> Which is about uh, maybe 10 cm. 10 cm! Oh no, maybe 8. <laughs> Are you joking with me, please, clown? I don't know. Now back to the topic. If you cannot eat 10 apples a day, what do you do? Well, what do you do? Can you eat 10 apples a day? Can you eat 10 apples a day? Comment. <laughs> I think it's very difficult for me to eat 10 apples a day. No, just put the whole apple in your mouth. No, I can't. Yeah, see? Forget, Give me the apple. You, you forgot De about the seeds. Definitely not every day, come on. Not every day, I can't <laughs> eat 10 apples every day. And mommy has to go market every day and buy apples. And then you waste a lot of money. No, huh? So, what is the easiest way? The easiest way, of course. The safest way is start for my breakfast, so I told. Because today what we're talking hey, about. Hey, stop! Is this has more. This has more. This oh yeah, yeah. If I ever talk to you every day, every morning. No, 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 no. Okay, hold okay. How about this you say two, this two? How about you say what's equivalent to ten apples? You got ten apples. That is. Okay. What do you want to say? Well, I eat soy bro, so that I have no constipation problem, and I eat it every morning. So if you are having problems with constipation, also go and eat it. Buy it at EliteGlobal.com. Soy pro. And soy green. And Bible talk. Well, why? Because soy pro contains wholesome soy. Or oh, ten apples. And that's why today we always talk about wholesomeness because. Only two wholesome plant based food that contains fiber. And also fiber top. Why fiber top? Fiber top contains psyllium husk. Very rich in fiber. Very rich in fiber. So, you know that time my sister was drinking fiber top the first time? She wait like until like, like 10 hours! And then it was like slime. I was like, go! No! I'm so happens. angry. She got no problem with going to the toilet. Yeah, and because she ate it like one scoop. Yeah, I took like 10 minutes to eat it. <laughs> well, so fiber is definitely very important to us. So if you don't really like <laughs> stuff How that are... Fiber? You can't eat 10 apples a day and go for soy, uh, fiber talk. And well, maybe, maybe... Soy um, pro. Yes. Maybe eat yeah. two apples a day. <laughs> Come, let's cheers. Hey, you got the chest first. No. Oh yeah! Oh. And what's the tea you have in your cup, Daddy? It's charm moment. Okay. Think that's all for today? Wait! What? Oh. So, Jen, over to you!
All right, you hope you have learned a lot from today's session. Please share this video what you have learned and to your family, friends, relatives. Stay tuned for the next session because we might have a new guest. New guest? Wow. And just to inform you, the next session is on Sunday at about tea break because this is tea break talks with the toes. And see you guys! Wait, Bye. try, try, try of everything in this video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If you don't know, you can just contact. Restart, 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 restart. And um, if you don't know who, where to get them or what, contact him and her. And if you don't know who the him and hers are, go and find out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.